British Iranian dual national Ali Reza Akbari, who was sentenced to death in Iran, has been executed. On Wednesday, Akbari's family had been asked to go to his prison for a final visit and his wife said that he had been moved to a solitary confinement. The ex-deputy Iranian defence minister was arrested in 2019 and convicted of spying for the UK. He had denied the allegations. UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said that the execution was a callous and cowardly act carried out by a barbaric regime. Sunak said that Iran's rulers had no respect for the human rights of their own people, adding that his thoughts were with Ali Reza's friends and family. UK Foreign Secretary James Cleverly said that the execution would not stand unchallenged. On Saturday, the Iranian judiciary's official news outlet Mizan reported that Ali Reza Akbari had been hanged without specifying the date when the execution took place. The news came after Iran posted a video of Akbari earlier this week showing what appeared to be forced confessions and after the country's intelligence ministry had described the British Iranian as one of the most important agents of the British intelligence service in Iran. The United States had also joined calls for Iran not to execute Akbari. US diplomat Vedant Patel said that his execution would be unconscionable and condemned the charges against him as politically motivated. The UK Foreign Office has been supporting Akbari's family and had repeatedly raised his case with Iranian authorities. It had requested urgent consular access, but Iran's government does not recognize dual nationality for Iranians. In Akbari's audio message, he said that he was living abroad a few years ago when he was invited to visit Iran at the request of a top Iranian diplomat who was involved in nuclear talks with world powers. Once there, he was accused of obtaining top-secret intelligence from the Secretary of Iran's Supreme National Security Council, Ali Shamkhani, in exchange for a bottle of perfume and a shirt. Akbari alleged that he was interrogated and tortured by intelligence agents for more than 3,500 hours. He also accused Iran of seeking to take revenge on the UK by executing him. Hours after the audio message was broadcast, the Mizan news agency confirmed for the first time that Akbari had been found guilty of espionage and that the Supreme Court had rejected his appeal. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.